Welcome to your family's next vacation home, AKA the Heartland Mallard M260. You're looking at 31 feet, roughly 5,900 pounds. I can sleep five to six, but a well-appointed mid-tier, I gotta tell you, touching luxury coach. We're gonna start right back here in the rear because the 260 is technically a rear bath RV, but it's a family RV. Wait a minute, Chris, rear baths are for couples. This is a couples coach or family coach. Does that answer your question? Confused? You won't be after the next episode of Soap. No, right here in the rear bath is where you're gonna find a awesome large counter space over here on the campsite. I like how we got so much of the prep and storage space back here, which if you're a couple that wants to do some entertaining, wanna stay out for a while, the 260 I think really fits the bill. Multiple mirrored medicine cabinets here on the campsite as well. Window on the rear, high rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. And you'll see, look at the space that you have in your throne room right here. Good linen storage here as well. And the oversized shower surround right here, kind of finishing off the rear bath. Now what I like about this is the Neo angled showers is kind of what I'm used to when it comes to the Mallards. But having this one, not only do I have the suspension door, which is treated with a antimicrobial coating on it so that you won't get mold and mildew, but look at the space that you have to come in. The space that I have thanks to the skylight. I'm not cramped up or down or left or right. Corner notches for my soap, my shampoos, as well as matte black features on my shower handles. Good little space. Nice and big. Step out and you're gonna notice right away one of the calling cards of the Heartland Mallard line is gonna be the beauty and the construction and the design. Easy to clean flooring here, which is that upgraded linoleum with the herringbone pattern, kind of making me feel like I'm in a modern yet rustic barn. I use that term a lot. And right over here, as soon as you walk in, solid door leading you into a walk-in pantry slash ward with hangers. Maximizing the space. A lot of times when you have coaches that'll do this type of wall set, you won't get good space behind. That walk-in closet is great. And speaking of space, you look right here, you got pull-out space atop of your fireplace slash entertainment room. The wall mount on the back is big enough to hold a 50-inch TV, plus you got your connection here, your HDMI connection there, your IRV Technologies AM FM Command Center, a Greystone fireplace that has multi-flame setting as well as multi-light setting, just an overall good use of the space and flow of the area leading you into the kitchen. Here, you get the oversized true L-shaped kitchen on the campsite. Not only do you have the rolled edges, but this is a pressed countertop allowing you to have an undermounted stainless steel sink with a high-rise faucet. I even like how this year they went all the way up with the backsplash. I, I, I mean, a lot of times you got to go full-blown luxury line to get a backsplash that goes all the way up to the top. I know that sounds crazy, but when you take a look around some of the RVs and they give you just this little line... Having this actually makes, to me at least, feel like it's a little bit more home. So I like it. Great countertop space, flush mounted three burner cooktop, plus you got the 16 inch oven, microwave up top, solid shaker style cabinets all the way around with the matte black pulls. Once again, tying in that rustic yet modern appearance. Got a spice rack, more drawers on the end, plus got a little storage space for a trash can underneath my sink. And if you do bring the kids with you in your 260, say it's raining outside or, you know, maybe, you know, hey, Chris, I need to go early, going to go fishing, need to leave a note for the loved one. You have a doodle station right here on your Dometic oversized fridge. It's gas electric with the automatic switch, but having that just, hey, it's another nice little thing, another nice little feature that's going to come in your Heartland Mallard. On the off camp side is where you're gonna find our super slide. That houses our booth dinette as well as our sofa that doubles as a pullout sleeper with a unique touch. There's a true pullout with a kind of semi jackknife approach that has the overstuffed cushion inside of it, giving you even more storage space, but you could probably fit two people on there. Over here on the booth dinette, you're gonna notice it is surrounded by panoramic windows with the pleated shades and the solid wood valances. I like how they tie in the light and the dark stripes on those valances, really makes it look kinda homey. Got my little lights there, back glow fascia. Got the switches over there, hit that for me, Brian. Let's show it to him. There you go, look at that. You even have 
the soft glow fascia, fascia, fa fascia, fa fascia, fascia, yes, I was just told, I've been saying it wrong my entire life, it's not fascia, it's fascia, just another nice little feature, man, just gives it more of that cool feel, another thing that gives it a cool feel, how about select a style reversible cushions, not only are these plush and overstuffed, but if you say, Chris, we love the light on dark, but we need more light, there you go, flip that over, you got a different style, Storage underneath as well, and this does reduce down and become a sleeper. Plus, the table is just hinged to the wall. So if you want to take it out, you absolutely can. Also, no carpet in your slide. Very nice feature, especially if you're bringing kids or if you're bringing pets. Going to make the cleanup that much easier. Leading you into your master, where you're going to have a pocket door that's solid as well as matte black separating the rest of the coach from your master sanctuary. And it truly is a sanctuary because you have a king size bed nestled here in the front cap. Oversized windows on both sides. Shaker style cabinets with frosted glass inlays for both my storage up top as well as my ward. Reading lights. I even have 110 power and USB power on both the camp and the off camp side. Very nice little feature, plus extended nightstand space. So if you want to store books, cell phones, tablets, whatever you want, you can. And to give you even more storage, how about the quick store access right here under your king size bed, which I got to tell you, it's a little heavy to lift up because that, my friends, is a memory foam mattress. Nice, plush, and king size. And last but not least, here on the inside, you want to set up a TV. You got a little bit of space over here on the front wall, which is a nice feature because I don't have to turn to take a look at the TV. The only thing I don't like about it is when the door is open, unless I'm gonna get an arm to mount it and pull it out, only have about, I can maybe get a 30 inch TV in there. So if you wanna get a big one, probably not gonna be able to do it here in the master bedroom. But cable connection and 110 power plus a vent. So 31 feet. 5,900 pounds, just call it even. 30,000 BTU furnace, 15,000 BTU AC. I got my switch if I want to run my fireplace instead of my AC. Well built, four inches of foam insulation in my roof, two inches of foam on both walls. Got to tell you, it's a well appointed coach, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go take a look at the outside. <laughs> So here we are on the outside of the all new Heartland Mallard M260. Such a great coach, 31 feet, roughly 5,900 pounds dry. You're gonna notice why it's so big but so light when I get around to the side here in just a minute. But up front, some camp conveniences like powered tongue jack with LED light, twin 20 pound LP tanks, battery box and disconnect on the back. I love how manufacturers are adding my disconnect outside or better yet, easier access because before, it was like hide and seek, you couldn't find it. Like the coating that we have here on this solid welded frame that gives this coach tremendous support. You got your little mini rock guard here and the fiberglass molded end cap with the grooves really gives this more of an aggressive profile which reduces the aerodynamic resistance going down the road. Love having that there, plus you got your LED running lights. Now. Around the side here, you'll notice oversized luggage doors. King Kong size storage, as a matter of fact. On some of these, you get up to 67 and a half cubic feet of space. Good spot for chairs, towels, tables. That's what I really like about the doors being 42 inches. You can actually put a table in there. Finished off pass through storage with LED lights and we are prepped for tire pressure monitoring on the other side. You'll see that better when we, when we get over there. Solar charge controller here, and of course, all of your storage doors are slam latch with the covered hinges and magnetic. Great for not knocking your noggin when you're trying to get the beach towels in there. Underneath, you'll see we do have powered stabilizer jacks and enclosed underbelly, extra large awning with the LED light strip here, plus I got tinted windows that are sealed safety windows. With 80% tint, that's gonna help keep the coach a lot cooler. Add that to the fact that we have the white fiberglass here with the glow in the dark graphics. It's really just the little lines that kind of go around the edges. Looks cool at night, but this also has that aluminum superstructure in here. So lightweight, 
two inches of foam insulation here on the wall behind the Asdell composite inner wall, which no moisture barrier, or excuse me, no moisture, you know, doesn't hold the moisture. It also doesn't off gas on you. Plus four inches of foam up top. So really good insulation, really good keeping that three season kind of camping going, but more importantly, makes the coach a little bit lighter. Wide track suspension here on your beautiful black and chrome wheels, those Dexter Easy Loop axles. The wide tracks is going to give you more stability going down the road because when your coach is 31 feet, it could rock on you, it could list on you. So that porpoising and that listing is going to stop, especially if you get a sway bar with this one, a weight distribution hitch and sway bars, which by the way, for any travel trailer, you should get. But that berth there is going to help that. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point here as well with a solid grab handle. Got my LP quick connect because you got to grill when you're camping, right? You got 40 pounds of LP up front. Why not go ahead and do some grilling? 4x4 sewer hose storage here in the bumper. Spare tire mounted on the back. Lippert ladder mount back here as well. Just adding a little bit more, not only safety, but convenience. Because you get that telescoping ladder, put it up there. You can check all the seals. Arch ceilings with the rain nozzles. Plus, I got my backup camera. External shower with hot and cold. Plus, my city water connection. And my black tank flush right there as well. Go ahead and close that. Come on, Chris. Come around to the side. Here's where you're going to see your rocker switches for your stabilizer jacks. Now, you got your main terminations down here as well, AKA your dumps. For this one, you actually have a 45 gallon fresh, 80 gallon gray tank, and how about a 40 gallon black tank? Those are good tank sizes for going off the grid. Cable driven slide right here, our super slide. Little step up action coming around. There's your gray tank number two, hence the 80 gallons. Rocker switch for your front stabilizer jacks. The other side of your pass-through storage, and right here is where you're gonna see on the inside that tire link prep. I gotta tell you, tire mine, having that is just peace of mind, that's safety. Because the number one cause of accidents in travel trailers is tire blowouts. So having that there, trust me, just go ahead and get it added on. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this coach weigh? So for example, the gross vehicle weight right there, 6,900 pounds. The dry weight, is gonna be roughly 5,900 pounds. Take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and say, hey, tell me something. What, what does that mean? Here, here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people we need to sleep. And here's where we plan on going camping. We get that information, we'll be able to find the RV of your dreams guaranteed. We just, just hey, just give us that and that's what we're going to help you with. But at 31 feet, under 6,000 pounds dry, uh, with all those features and amenities, I mean, we're talking mid-tier, maybe even a touch of luxury. The Heartland Mallard line is a great coach, especially if you're looking to upgrade to something that's going to help you and your family enjoy camping a little bit more. So you want to pick up the 260 today? Best part about it, I got it waiting on you at your local camping world, so come get it.